Well, as you can tell, spring is certainly upon us and the desert areas of San Diego County are absolutely stunning this time of year. Let's go out to the far reaches of the county to Agua Caliente County Park. We'll meet a park ranger who just loves what he does. A little bit about Agua Caliente. Well, it's out in the desert. Uh, it's quite a ways from everything. There's not a lot of stores out here. Not a lot of civilization. People like to come out here to get away. How can I help you? We have tent sites. We have partial, which is electricity and water, and we have full hookups, which are sewer, electricity, and water. Really like being a park ranger. Uh, I'm supervising park ranger, so I get to do both parts of it. I have the administrative in the office, and then I can also come out into the field and you know grab a shovel, you know grab a hammer. Working in this environment can be a bit of a challenge. Um, of course, there is the isolation to start out with. Um, you don't really get a lot of help. Of course, if you need it, you can get assistance from uh, you know sheriff and whatnot. But for the most part, we're out here alone. Typical day, we start out. First thing we do is head to the pools. We got to clean the pools, make sure the chemicals are right and everything's good to go for the people because that's why they're here. That's what they want. Our indoor therapeutic spa, which is like a big jacuzzi. Uh, that one we heat up to 102 degrees. Uh, that one's, I think, four feet deep. Hi, how can I help you? Uh, then it's usually back to the office to see if anybody's there uh, wanting to make reservations, extend their stay. Windshield, passenger side, so we can see it when you come in and out. Okay. And there you go. Summertime, even though the park's closed, we're still here, we're still working. The hottest I've seen it was 127 degrees. That was a few years ago. This past summer wasn't too bad. I think it was only in the low 120s. It sounds hot, but you get used to it out here and you work around it. Springtime, we do get wildflowers blooming out here like crazy. We had a good rainfall this year and I expect to see a lot of, a lot of different wildflowers. There's a lot of stuff to see out here and that's the, another reason people come out here. Just taking a peek? All right, well, carry on. Yeah. Now, if you want to do some spring camping out there, best advice from county parks is to be sure and reserve early and do it using their really good online camping reservation system. For more, just go to our website, ctn.org. I'm Michael Russo.